Extended stay hotels are seeing an increase in demand. According to a report by the Highland Group, extended stay room revenue totaled over $4.3 billion in the first quarter of this year. Marriott, Hyatt, and Hilton have each announced plans for new brands for extended stay rooms. Wyndham launched Echo Suites extended stay last year. So joining me now in Studio 57, us now in Studio 57, is Lisa Cecchio. She's the Chief Marketing Officer for Wyndham Hotels and Resorts. Thanks Welcome. for Thank joining you. us. It's so nice to see you this morning. Um, so, I mean, we talked about what's happening at the beginning of, this, of the year, but this has been a trend that's been increasing like over the past three or four years. Like, this is where people are choosing to stay. But some people may not understand what an extended stay hotel is and how it's different than a regular hotel room. So let's start with the basics. Okay, we'll start with the basics. So to start, we'll start with the Hawthorne Suites brand by Wyndham. It has all the amenities of a traditional hotel, but it has grocery delivery, it has full refrigerators, it has burners in your, in your room, so you can, it has pots and pans and gyms and laundry rooms. So it has all the amenities that you would want when you're looking for the creature comforts of home, right? but you want it in the flexibility of, of the hotel. So extended stay hotels allow you to really keep your routine while you're on the road. So uh, <laughs> why are we seeing an increase in demand for, from consumers? Because in the past, I think most people, if you work in a job that takes you on the road yeah. often, or if you, for example, many times in my career, I've been transferred to other countries, other cities, um, and the company says, hey, we've got a deal with a hotel and this is where we put everybody up, whether yeah. it's a week or six months, you live in that hotel. But mm -hmm. what is the attraction now for people who aren't in those situations? I think extended stay has been a best kept secret, to be honest. I mean, and it's really been driven by a number of factors. I think about the 20 million people who during COVID were able to pack up their laptops out of their offices and work remotely and work from everywhere. And extended stay was really a great option for that because People could use fast Wi-Fi that had all the creature comforts of home, but they were able to see the country in a way that they never were able to before. Um, and we talk, I mean, you all have been covering a lot about the, the infrastructure bill and all the headlines coming out of that. I mean, we're seeing development coming in nearly every single state. That means roads, it means bridges, it means new chip manufacturing plants. Those are being, have to be built. And the people working on those sites are staying for weeks, months, even years mm -hmm. at a time. Extended stay is a great option. Hmm. Um, are, are they more expensive, though? Because, I mean, you're, you're getting an awful lot. You're getting more space. You've got a little kitchen in there. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know they did grocery delivery. Jeez, wow. that's, like, great. I mean, are they typically more expensive than a regular hotel? It's not. I mean, it really just depends on the market. Yeah. You know, when you go, how long you're staying. I mean, the great thing about extended stay is that many offer, the longer you stay, the more you can save. Mm. So they offer better rates and better deals based on how long you're staying mm -hmm. with them. Hmm. Well, I know I have a picky eater. <laughs> and it's always like this big thing where we're like on vacation, but we got to find a place that she can eat, even though we're the parents and we need a break too. And so one of the great things about extended stay is that, you know, you, you get the groceries that you need. She's always happy. And then, you know, the parents can eat what they want to eat. It absolutely is. And that does help for families who are traveling because you can save a little money that way, particularly if you have a picky eater yes. who, you know, you have the kitchen you have the pots and pans, you have the broiler or the, the, the cooktops. Mm -hmm. So you, again, it's the comforts of home while on the road. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, let's talk about the operating cost for franchises uh, for extended stay hotels. Is it, is, is it expensive for the owners? I'm so glad that you asked that because, you know, right now is the, probably the best time to be in our industry. You know, I think we're seeing demand through the, you know, just continuing year over year coming out of COVID, AAA, again, said this is probably going to be one of our best summers yet. Um, and from an owner perspective, um, take our new Echo Suites brand by Wyndham. It's a brand new construction, uh, extended stay hotel. We've been working with some of the best developers in the country to put it together. So from an operating perspective, the cost is actually coming in to build one of these at like half the cost of building a traditional hotel because we've been very efficient in the way the prototype has been designed. It's all new construction, but yet it'll still have all the amenities that an uh, extended stay guest is looking for. Very interesting. Uh, Lisa Cecchio, great to have you on. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank you. It.